So, sorry, Lindsay. Um, my name is Gloria Meyer, and I own a woman-owned small business called Bosco Contracting Group. And what primarily we do is provide um, contracting solutions for commercial restorations, renovations, and interior services. So in regards to flooring, drywall, lighting, and we really try to focus on sustainable solutions. A lot of these federal buildings are going into green energy in regards to lighting, flooring, um, less, you know, low VOC painting products. So um, that is what we do. And I can kind of tell you a little bit about how I got into GCA. So the lady that was thinking, that was me. <laughs> And um, I actually contacted another GCA member who is also a student here, Danielle in the back. Mm -hmm. And I remember we talked about it, and uh, she said, you know, I really want to write a proposal. And I said, I really want to win a contract. <laughs> and, uh, and she said, you know, maybe we should just do the exercise. And um, I talked to my uh, subcontractor as well, and he was, same thing. I really want that contract. You know, can we get it? And I said, well, I, I don't know. We can try it. We can go through the exercise. And look at the process in regards to proposal writing, you know, research. And so we did that and um, we put a proposal together, we put our numbers together, and we just said, we'll just send it off. I don't think I'll get it. I'll just <laughs> send it off anyway. And um, learn in regards to how I can structure my company with the right paperwork and the right processes in place. So if a huge contract came, I would have everything boom, 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 perfect. But that was like, oh my gosh. This proposal is exactly what we're looking for. I kind of threw a curveball because I submitted two price proposals um, and he had never seen that before. So it, it, it intrigued him because the contractor officers are always looking for you to come to them and help them with their problem. Um, they will pay you for the work, but also if you come in and say, hey, you know, you can use this product, but I have an alternate product that is less expensive that will really meet the requirements or the specifications that you're looking for, they're always interested in that. So I submitted my proposal and uh, I got a call and one thing led to another and you know went through the pre-award survey responses and checked my references and I think it's a done deal. You know, so I'm excited. <laughs>
All right, so just talk about what you learned, how awesome it was, and how would you advise other people to come part of government contractors? Okay, um, this was a beautiful boot camp because due to the fact that now I've realized how much is needed and what's needed in order to have an effective company that targets the government industry. Uh, before I had an inkling, I had an idea, but now I have a, the whole picture. So it's much more than what you see out there. So this is good by coming to the GCA, you have an idea exactly how to build your team, how to manage your team, how to set up, how to set up your business, target uh, the government contracts so that you can be successful and also how to set it up so that as you move forward in your business life, the government contracts became an, becomes an integral part of what you do and how you handle your projects. And this, and this is applicable to not only to government contracts but also to commercial contracts or any other contract that, that, you, that you get involved in because of the fact that it, you have to dot your, dot your I's and cross T's in order for you to be effective in anything that you, that you do. So this has been pretty good and it's been pretty intense and I'm looking forward to building my team and, and make it happen. Thank you. Still good. Okay, ready? Just talk about um, why is this beneficial? Um, have you learned anything? And would you recommend it? Yeah. GCA's mantra is to educate, facilitate, and advocate. And I have to say that I have truly experienced that um, with them throughout my process in regards to I came to GCA because I knew a little bit about government contracting, but when I actually came here, I realized that there's so much more information that I needed to learn as a contractor, as a future employee, um, bringing um, you know my minority status and my female status into the industry. So being in this conference and this boot camp has truly, truly opened my eyes to a whole different view of educating myself on what I need to do, making taking the right steps to make sure that I am successful, and the advocate you in regards to encouraging you and pulling in the resources and their staff to make sure that you succeed. So GCA is a place to be if you truly want to partake in the government contracting arena. All right. Uh, thank you, Abe and the team, for this two-day boot camp. Um, there's a wealth of information available, and, and look forward to working with you all to, to build a government contracting opportunity. You know, these two days have been, you know, for me, uh, a, a trial by fire because new to government contracting and trying to understand not only what government contracting is, but learning governance and thinking of ways to be a value-added resource when I build my platform. Anybody else?